we are unfortunately at the Kenworth Service Center, MHC. They're the local Kenworth service providers in our area. And they may be the only ones, I'm not sure. But we've got a, our fan clutch won't disengage. Sitting there letting their fan run all the time. So we're bringing it in to let them take a look at it. Got a couple air leaks on it also, so we're a 24-7 service center, so I'm hoping we can turn in today, which today's Friday, and uh, pick it up Sunday evening because we gotta go back to work Monday morning. So, anyway, that's what we got going on. Still engaged. I guess WD-40 won't fix it. Yeah. I don't need that insurance claim at this point. We're gonna run inside and let them look, take a look at it, or see what they can do for us. I've already been on the phone with them, so they're expecting us. So anyway, we'll haunt you in a minute. And we got a surprise for y'all. Yep. We're get we're gonna remount this truck. We're gonna get one with a sleeper on it. Not quite them, but that's what we're getting. I'm gonna get a sleeper put on Bill's truck. That way, all he's got to do is get done, go to the next job, go to bed, and get up, go pump. So it'd be awesome for him. So I think it's a great idea. What do y'all think? Uh, all right, I get here, get my paperwork. I'll hold Yeah, it's the second Sunday in a row now that we're working on pumps or getting pumps. Luckily, this MHC, I think I told y'all yet, uh, Friday, that they're 24 hours going around this thing on. This way. Uh, camera shy. But, uh, so they finished up the truck, figured out what wasn't, oh, what there you are. was not letting our uh, clutch disengage on the fan was a, mo a module. Who would have thought an electronic part? It's probably gonna cost me about 600 bucks to fix. Probably reality is about a $30 part. I had to shut down for the week. So anyway, we'll run in, pay the bill, and then we'll head home. Cause this truck's gotta get up at 1 a.m. Morning. For 3 a.m. Yeah. Um, minute, so. um, I'll be right back. Well, I got another set. He's got they got set to so don't leave me. So yeah, that's the story. So, but and it's got a couple other codes that's thrown, but they cleared them. Couldn't find anything. Uh, so we may end up having to come back again to get that looked at if they throw them. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and pay our bill. That's always fun. All right. wasn't quite as much as I thought it was going to be, but I wasn't far off. So anyway. But like I said, I'm, I'm very grateful that this is a 24-7, except Christmas, which I, who, who the heck wants to work on Christmas? But anyway, uh, so I, you know, I'm able to get this truck in on the weekends and get it taken care of, so, which is awesome. Uh, I'm even on Fridays, I'll bring it in at lunch, drop it off, pick it up Sunday afternoon, and they'll do, uh, you know, the fluid changes and all that kind of stuff, so. It's it's great, really great. But anyway, glad to get that little get that little thing fixed. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Working on the trailer pump. Guess playing basketball on the street. But, well, I'm gonna have to tighten the cinches down and get ready to go. Uh, so anyway, we'll holler at y'all. I, I may, I don't know, a little bit, or this may be in the video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll haunt you a little bit. Uh, you can probably chalk this up to dumb stuff that you do by yourself that you don't have any help, or you're too proud to call anybody. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 6.45 in the morning, you know, it's pretty pretty quick notice to get somebody to help you, but 
this welder, I don't know what it weighs. It weighs a bunch, 350 pounds, 400 pounds. And I gotta get in the back of that truck. I've thought about tying a ratchet strap onto that limb, but I, I don't know. And that may, should probably maybe ought to be my better option, but I'm gonna try to put it on top of this ice chest first and just kind of feel of it, see what we got. I'm thinking if I can get to this ice chest, then I can get get it stair stepped up onto the tailgate, and then I'll be home free. I don't know, we'll see. I, but we're gonna definitely have the camera going because we're not sure how this is gonna go. That wasn't that bad. I honestly think I could pick, if it wasn't so blocky, so, you know, I, I think I could honestly pick it up, but it's heavy. Well, wasn't near as bad as what I was expecting. It's back there. So, we gotta... I plan on working on a trailer pump here, but the reason I loaded it, I'm gonna weld that frame up some there at the yard. And I need to take it to car wash and get all that oil built up inside that frame rail get all that power washed off. So that's the reason why I've decided to load the welder up and take it over there and do a temporary patch on top of it. And then once I get back here, we'll just grind it off, take the torch, cut off what we need to. And, and I got this three by five angle heavy quarter inch, maybe hit thicker than that. Uh, that's what we're gonna go back with. We're gonna We'll cut it down and then set it on top of the frame rail, get everything back close as possible and then just weld it all up and uh, cross our fingers from there. So, okay, let's go get the trailer and go work on it for a little bit and get it cleaned up. Well, I got ahead of myself and I wasn't filming any, but what? I don't even know where to begin, really. Um, what we noticed Friday afternoon when the pump got back was this this frame here was all split. You can tell I patched it a, a couple weeks ago. We noticed a crack right here. We patched it and was watching it, but obviously that didn't work. Uh, we had an incident a couple months ago, and I really think this is the result from that incident, but... We can't really talk about that incident right now um, for legal reasons. But anyway, I put a, that, that was spread about a quarter of an inch. I put this jack under the hopper, raised it up and it sucked it all back up. This one's a little bit, a little bit off, but it's cracked all the way through there. Uh, so what I got to do is get these pretty close and then weld them up so I can take the car wash and get all this washed off and cleaned up and then I have to come back and cut this 
piece of angle off and get it down to bare metal uh my plan is to unbolt this um hopper here or not the hopper but this hydraulic tank right here and raise it up and then we'll take this three by five angle and i'm gonna cut it to length of the frame probably about four foot set it on here weld it weld seam it all up just weld it on both sides seam it all up and then i'm also debating putting some bolts through it some you know three quarter inch bolts a uh, couple on each side of the crack i i don't know if it needs that or not i think i would feel better if it was uh but honestly if it was welded up solid i think i think that would be okay but this one i'm gonna tack weld that over there first and then i'm gonna bring the jack around here more and then try to get this matched up and then weld it and I think I can get to the car wash with it like that. Fine, just fine. Just seamed up a little bit. Clean this up and then get a, a better look at what I've got going on. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to drop the axle or not. I'm definitely going to take the tires off. If i got to drop the axles, that's fine. I can, that's four bolts also. But, yeah. I, we, I, honestly, I feel lucky we got back at and not knowing it happened it happened some sometime during transit obviously but uh and i've looked at all the material cylinders and the and all this stuff and it all looks good i i think it's i think i think we're okay is, is if we can just get it all sewed back up and welded back up so bones filthy so it needs a bath for sure but we're gonna go ahead and get that tacked up and get the car wash and then we can really really get going on what we need to do so That thing's clean up. It's, I mean, there's still grease. I wish I could just turn this stone gun over and wash the hell out of it, but uh, you know, that's not possible. So, anyway, uh, so, um, uh, anyway, we gotta, I'm gonna drop the axle now, get it out of the way, and then I'll have to grind my patch welds off and this conglomeration get it all off there clean it up and then measure my three by five um get ready to take the oil tank i don't think i'm gonna take it off i'm gonna, I'm gonna get it pried up where i can slide that three by five on there but i've got the bolt holes for it that's in there that's got to be we'll have to cut some holes into that into it and uh once those once it's on there and bolted in for the oil for the oil reservoir then we can we're gonna weld it up solid and man i hope that's will solve our problem uh so anyway that's that's where we're at
that one grounded off clean. Oh yeah, I gotta work on this monstrosity over here. May have to get the torch out over here. I don't know. I'm gonna get y'all better spot than that. Like I said, I scabbed this on thinking it wasn't gonna take much to solve my problem, but that didn't last very long. I noticed that crack along there and there's a factory hole in the frame right there. That's where that crack developed off of. But I thought a little patch might help, but it, it sure didn't. So, anyway, we'll get that cut off best we can. The 18 come in. Yep, give me a hand. Foster is a certified welder, so we're pretty lucky to have him around. Say that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a dirt dauber from way back when. But I don't know of any of my melted metal buildings that have fallen down yet. I know some that's been through some pretty good winds. So. Anyway, he's welding up the crack and getting that getting that prepped. I'm setting the torch up, fixing to get ready to cut this three by five right here. Do it today and just hammer it out and get it done so we can get ready for the pump in the morning. So there's not as much stuff on this side. So you know we got all the hydraulic lines on that opposite side. We got the nitrogen bottle on the other side. Quite a bit of stuff we got to watch over there. Over here. It's pretty wide open, so this side we won't make it long. <laughs> Bill, Bill's worried. So, anyway.
so you can see what we're doing. I'm assuming you already knew it cracked right through here on both sides. This one was here, this one was back over here, the other side. But took everything off or whatever, grinded all this down. They had we'd had a plate on there before that that had cracked right through the plate. We'll grind that off, cleaned it all up, whilst we're welded here and on the inside under it now we've got that the three by five angle had to cut some of the three off but we've got two pieces one for each side to jack brace the frame get it all welded up on there and got to jack jack the tank up and see we've got a bottle jack and a wood block in there so we get this underneath there there's holes mounting this to the frame cut them out starting on this side I got this side finished up got the whole tank about bolted back down and we got a belt to count them back to it once we get that other side set down and down to go and then while that's going on get the axle shoved back up under there it's just it's a process to disassemble this thing and fix the frame but heck it's the way it goes it's the way it goes sometimes but uh Bill's concerned about it. Fire thing to figure out. All that old hydraulic oil stuff down there been catching on fire. I know you're not supposed to, but I'm leaving the I'm leaving the fenders off of it for tomorrow. I want to be able to get to everything and crawl under and look. We're gonna we got to go about 15 miles in the morning and pump and come back. So I want to double check all the bolts and nuts on everything we've loosened up. And all right, we're home. Tools are unloaded, cleaned up, and put up. I'm done for the day. So thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> enjoyed for whatever it was but anyway another another film of a uh, us having to work so, uh, anyway thank you uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share y'all be safe we'll catch you on the next one thank you